not giving those I, one I want to come back to your other question, said Jason, just for a second. Because, you know, people think that compassion, if you're too compassionate, like Carl Sagan used to talk about compassion fatigue. You know, you couldn't really worry about everybody starving and it's never too much for you. But actually, the Dalai Lama's point that, and the Tibetan psychology, Buddhist inner technology is, the more you expand your compassion, the happier you become as the compassion giver. And because compassion is not just empathy of like wallowing with the suffering being in their suffering only. Mm -hmm. It is a determination and an energy to help them out of their suffering. So it sort of must keep an inner vision of the possibility of rising out of the suffering, kind of the hope thing, and it shares that hope. So actually, when you're really sensitive in a, to a vast outreach of feeling the suffering really very broadly, which is the definition of an enlightened person, then you actually have an inner bliss. This, it seems very contradictory, and even the Sanskrit word for compassion, karuna, means stopping uh, pleasure, meaning that you are giving up your focus on your own seeking of pleasure, and you're focusing on others and wanting them to have well, pleasure. But then Dalai Lama always says that famous thing, he says, if you want to be successfully selfish, be a wise selfish and be compassionate. And also, he says, if you, you know, the person who's compassionate, the first person who they help have less suffering is themselves. Right. <laughs> well, there's actually some interesting brain science about that now. Yes, oh, good. Yeah. Um, there's a book I just finished writing that'll come out in September called oh, Altered good. Traits, which science tells What's of it called? Altered Traits. Altered? Traits. Like altered traits? traits. Altered Traits. Okay. Science reveals how meditation transforms mind, body, and brain. Oh, great. And the chapter on loving kindness meditation, on compassion, yeah. uh, sh shows that the data is very strong that the, what you do is strengthen the centers for well being uh -huh. and good feeling by being compassionate. And in fact, when you're generating compassion, that's what lights up in the brain. Yes. So the first, per as he said, the first person who benefits from compassion is one who feels it. Yeah. But it's very tricky that. because if they yeah. then shift and they think about, oh, I want to feel better, so I'm going to be more compassionate, then it's not real compassion. Well, <laughs> then they start true. feeling worse. Yeah. There's yeah. some catch-22s here. <laughs> what? Catch-22s. It is. Yeah. It's a beautiful yeah. one. I actually have a question.